Hi there, thank you for joining me today. In this video I'm gonna be showing you how you can create dashboard in Excel. So let's get started. In front of me I have dashboard that I already created in Excel. So the idea in this video is to create same dashboard from scratch. So for that purpose I have created this blank page here and I'm gonna be creating same dashboard in this page. But before we start let's first take a look at our data source. As you can see here our data is related to some orders and also we have some values describing those orders. For example we are able to see this ship date, ship mode, customer name and so on but also the important thing is to mention this sales quantity profit and so on to use this data in our dashboard of course we will need to create some pivot tables and i have already created them on this tables page so let's click on that and now you are able to see all tables that we will be using in this dashboard so let's start creating our dashboard I'm gonna go to this page and first I'm gonna create header and background so let's start first I'm gonna merge those cells I'm gonna type sales dashboard Let's try this font size and also I'm going to change font. I'm going to use this one here. Okay, that's perfect. Now let's change those colors. For font colors, we're going to choose this one. And also for background, I'm gonna be using, let's try this color. This will be perfect. And now let's create colors for background. Let's use, for example, this one. That's perfect. Now that we created our background, we can start adding those shapes. So let's click on this insert button. Let's click on shapes and I'm gonna use this shape here. So let's place it here. Now let's resize this shape. I'm gonna place it here like this. And then I'm gonna change color of this shape. And let's click on this shape fill and it will be this color. Also, I'm gonna change those borders, let's click on that, also shape format and for outline let's pick white color. And also this border doesn't have to be that thick, so I'm gonna change that. Instead of this line I'm gonna put for example this one. Ok, that's perfect. So let's quickly create other shapes, I'm gonna copy this one paste it here let's place it here also I'm gonna resize this okay that's perfect now let's insert titles for all these charts let's go to this insert tab and here you will find text option I'm gonna choose text box and let's place it here for example first one will be sales by state let's resize this I'm gonna place it like this also the color will be white instead of this one and I'm gonna make it bold and I'm gonna click on this shape format and I'm gonna also remove that fill option and also outline now that's perfect let's first change this font size let's put for example i think 
14 maybe is too big let's put 12 for example okay perfect now let's create one more this one will be sales by city okay let's copy that one this one will be sales by subcategory let's resize this one okay perfect I'm gonna also copy this one more time this one will be sales by segment Okay, great. We created all these titles for charts. Now let's proceed to main part of this video. It will be actually creating our charts. So let's go to this tables page. And first I'm gonna use this first table. I'm gonna create first chart. So when I select all values that I have in this table, I'm gonna click on this insert tab. I will see section charts. In this section, I'm gonna choose this maps option and I'm gonna choose this field map and I'm gonna get my first chart let's cut this chart and let's paste it here in this dashboard so let's resize this one it will be placed here next one will be sales by city so again let's go to our tables page Let's find the city table, it's this one here and let's select our data. Now we are in this insert tab and we are gonna choose this bar chart for this purpose. Let's click on this one and I'm gonna also move this chart to my dashboard page. Let's place it here, I'm gonna also need to resize this one, but I'm gonna do that later. I'm gonna just put it like this here and that's perfect those two charts will belong to this first section here next section is sales by subcategory so let's find that table it's this table here subcategory and let's select our data let's go to this charts section and let's choose this column chart Let's click on first one and now we are able to see our data. Let's also move that chart to our dashboard. Let's resize this and it will be placed here. Now we have successfully completed this first part of dashboard. Let's proceed to next one. So next one will be sales by segment. So let's find the table. As you can see we have a segment here, so we are gonna select our data. I'm gonna click on insert tab and I'm gonna insert, let me find, I'm gonna use funnel for this purpose. Let's click on this recommended chart and as you can see one of them will be funnel. Let's click on that and now we are able to see our funnel. Let's move the chart, place it here. Let me just place it here. I'm gonna also need to resize this one and to put it here in this section. Now we have three more charts to create. First one will be sales by category. So let's find the table. Now we can see this category table here and I'm gonna also create... Let's find donor chart. I'm gonna use donor chart in this case and I'm gonna also move the chart here in my dashboard. Let's resize this one. This chart will be placed here and also I need to create two donor charts for region and chip mode. Let's do that. Let's first do for region. Let's go to insert. And then I'm gonna also insert this pie chart and next one will be segment. Let's select our data, insert donor chart and 
it's also done for this segment. Let's now move those pie charts. Let's resize this. Okay, perfect. And now we need to move one more chart. It will be this one. And this one will be placed between those two. Okay, perfect. Now we have successfully created all charts that we needed. Next step is to modify those charts. First I'm gonna remove backgrounds for each of them and also for some of them I can remove legend. For example for this one I'm not gonna need that one so I'm gonna remove that. To remove this background let's go to this format tab and if you click on this shape fill you will find no fill option. But as you can see when I did that now we are not able to see each of these states so I'm gonna go to this chart design option and I'm gonna change that one. I'm gonna choose this one and this looks much better. And also I'm gonna need to remove that legend one more time. Let's click on that. And also let's remove this chart title. Okay, that's perfect. But as you can see we still have that border around the chart. So let's remove that. Let's click on this shape outline and I'm gonna click on this no outline. Let me do this one more time. And that's perfect. Now let's modify all other charts. Now we are almost done here, I just need to resize all these charts and this dashboard will be completed. So I'm gonna do that now. Ok, that's perfect. Now all these charts are resized and properly formatted, so we have completed our dashboard. I hope that you enjoyed this video, thanks for watching.